Problem 20, it says, based on the given information, which figure contains a pair of similar triangles? Okay, so are these guys similar? Those, these, these, which of these? Okay, well, let's go through it. Choice A, given AB, that line, segment AB, intersects line segment CD. They intersect, and it also tells me that angle and that angle are equal. Well, if they intersect one another, this angle and this angle are vertical angles, and they match. So I've got these angles matching, those angles matching. That's going to force, I mean, if that match and those match, those add up to the same number. That's going to force, since they all add up to 180, that's going to make this angle have to match that angle. Because if these two add up to, let's say, 100, and these two then have to add up to 100, both those would have to be 80s. This right here, choice A, definitely. Once it gave me that these angles match, and I knew those were verticals, it forced this third to match. So yeah, A is going to work. Let's look over at C, given triangle ABC, ABC, because it might be more than one option, I don't know. The big mistake here, kids want to look at this and say, oh, it's 90 degrees. You don't know how that line's hitting. You don't know if it's hitting at 90 degrees or 89 and 91. You don't know. So I don't know that it's hitting at 90. I do know I have this angle matches that angle. But that's all I can figure out here. It's out. I don't have any other information. Let's go to B. Given quadrilateral A, B, C, D, we know these equal. It's a quadrilateral. Well, it's a quadrilateral even. That just means four sides. We don't know. <laughs> we like to say, oh, there are some things here equal. Well, if it said it were a par if it were a parallelogram, yeah, we could probably come up with some stuff. But we can't because it just says quadrilateral. It's not saying it's a parallelogram. We don't know. It just says that guy and that guy match. B's out. I could see getting tricked with C and B, to be honest with you. D, okay, A, B, and C are collinear. Well, all that means is they're on the same line. They're trying to trick you with wording. I got this angle and this angle matching. Do I know anything else? Can I say this angle and this angle match? No. If you have a line and something comes in and hits it, that doesn't mean these angles match. Absolutely not. So no, I can't conclude anything with that either. The answer to this problem 20 is A, but you got to know your stuff or it's very easy to make a mistake on this one and pick one of the other options.